Good morning, everybody, and good afternoon. We're the two old farts. I'm Chuck. And I'm Lou. I'm a better looking of the old fart. I'm in the morning here, not in the afternoon. I am in the afternoon. And why am I in the afternoon? I don't know. Where the hell are you at? Is that Kaiserslautern, Germany? Kaiserslautern, Germany. That is correct. All right. So how's the weather over there? Um, not as hot here as it is there. Oh man, it's a scorcher. That's what I've been hearing well, in the news. We're on the back porch at eight thirty this morning. It's already eighty-eight degrees. Really? Yep. That's so, crazy. Yeah, when I tell you, I had the water, <laughs> the few plants we got in the backyard that's still blooming and stuff like that. So. Uh, it is what it is. That's why we live in Texas, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, it's hot everywhere right now, though. Oh, man, it, it it is. Fortunately, it's not that hot where I am, and it wasn't. So yesterday, the group that I'm TDY with, um, we, we went to uh, Luxembourg for the day. Okay. And it was really oh. nice there. It wasn't, it wasn't hot at all. Wow. It's amazing how different parts of the country, the temperature is different, isn't it? It is. It is. And some of the guys that I went with are from uh, Switzerland. Okay. And uh, I told them about our podcast, and uh, I think two of them have listened to it. Okay. So get this, man. In, In the two weeks that I've been gone... We've had quite a few downloads. Okay. On Monday, July tenth, that was that was uh, almost two weeks ago. Yeah. We had twenty three downloads that day. That's as much as we get in a month sometimes. Yes, it is. So get this, Dad. In the last month, oh, since July, we've had how many this month? Over the last 30 days, we've had 99 downloads, 17 in the last seven days. So since the beginning of July, we've had 57 from the United States, four from the United Kingdom, three from the Netherlands, two more from Canada, and one from France. Wow, that's pretty neat. Yeah, sure is. Maybe we'll get some progress here, huh? Maybe. They've downloaded them from Apple Podcasts, Podbean, Samsung, Spotify, Chromecast, Pocket Casts, Firefox, Google Chrome, Alexa, Amazon Alexa, Google Nest Hub, and Unknown. So that's that's pretty crazy. So how many total we got so far? So far. I, I just closed it out. Uh, 2,743. Oh, so wow. we're, we're, we're inching up there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Yeah. So tell me about tens our toilet of, paper. Tens of people are listening to us. Tell me about our toilet paper. How are we doing on that? Oh, uh, that, that survey ended after a week. <laughs> that, Twitter will only let you post a survey for a week. It won't, okay. it won't go no longer. Well, I'm going to tell you two things coming up here I'm interested in, and uh, I hope some other folks are interested in. The Little League Girls World Softball Championships coming up here uh, shortly, and the Boys Little League World Championships coming up shortly. Uh, yeah, in August, uh, uh, Little League World, the Little League Series, World Series comes out, right? Yeah. And the, in uh, Williamsport, uh, Pennsylvania. The, yeah, the girls start uh, – they're actually playing the regionals right now. And then their series starts August 6th through the 13th. And and the boys start August 16th through the 27th for the Olympic World Championships. And uh, the World Cup started, too, for women this past yeah. week. Yeah, and we beat uh, uh, Vietnam the other day. I don't, I don't think we played anybody since then. I don't think so either. Let me see here. Let me, let me pull it up. Uh... We are in group D, I think. No, E. We're in group E. We're 
one win. The Netherlands is also one win in Group E. And man, and there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. There's eight groups. So in Group H, I don't think anybody's played yet. That's Colombia, Germany, South Korea, and Morocco. Group G. And the way Sweden, that Argentina, Italy, was talking about how that? they played that game, if they deliver like they were talking, they uh, they should win this thing. Um, from what it, I've been they, watching in some of the English news over here, they're saying America is probably the odds-on favorite. Maybe behind them would be maybe England or France or um, the Netherlands. Right. It's all about attitude. When you start talking trash, you, you better be able to back it up or you're going to, because the other team's going to feed off of that. You, it, you're best just not just to talk trash, you know, act like you've been there before, play, play your game and uh, let your, uh, your wins do the talking. Yeah. You got, you got to keep that emotion. Emotions is good. It can get you fired up, stuff like that. Yes, but it when can. When you start believing that hype, and the other team doesn't, <laughs> you can have some problems. And and I think our uh, beloved uh, Alabama Crimson Tide has kind of suffered from that problem. It's uh, Nobody's afraid of Alabama anymore. No, they aren't. But I'll tell you what, I'm excited about this team. See what I got there? Yeah, a piece of that's, paper. That's the SEC schedule. And that's the Alabama schedule. I'm ready. Then I I'm, hope so. When Alabama's on TV, this is what I'm going to put up. Just like uh, in progress. Do not disturb. <laughs> yeah, what's that on the front of it? What? That's a microphone, it says, isn't it? It says "Recorded in progress." Please do not disturb. Your your niece, my granddaughter, and your sister gave us to me for my birthday, so I can keep yeah, the mom birthday out. Like she comes month. in on our pod, like she comes in on our podcast, right? <laughs> right. Like, like Tina has listened to our podcast. My own sister, yeah. your daughter, has not listened to our podcast. I don't even think Jordan has either. Yeah, Jordan has, I think, once or twice. But you know how that goes. How about your daughter? Has she listened once or twice? I, I would put money on it that she hasn't. But you know who has listened to my pod, our podcast? My exactly. Swiss friends, Flavio and Timmy from Switzerland, they have listened to our podcast. My own children have not listened. No, I think, well, Kay, Kaylee, my oldest daughter, she's listened to it. I don't think does. Erica does. Kaylee does quite a bit, I think. Yes, yeah, she does. And she got us those T-shirts and those mugs. Yes, she did. I was going to do that, but I've been outside watering my plants and stuff, so. And I didn't bring my T-shirt to Germany because I got a stain on it. So, Kaylee, tell me where you got it so I can order some more. But I, I wear that one around a lot, not just for our podcast, but I might go out and then people ask me about it so I can tell them about it and stuff like that. So one more person can maybe listen to us. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something well, about these girls' Little League softball. All right. They've been around. For, for a while and started out in North Carolina and then uh, Hewitt, Texas won the last championship. That's up by Waco. Okay. You know what team do you know what team has won the most championships or what from what state? Texas. Waco, Texas. They have All right. they have they have the most. And uh, All right. I did not know that. Yep, uh, and it, I I like watch sports, especially high school. And these are ten to twelve year olds that are playing and stuff like that. So it's interesting to watch them and see the talent. But in baseball, do you know how many actual baseball players have moved into the the national leagues from from the World Series? They're playing in the, in the Little League World Series. Quite a few. Yep. How about 71? 71 players from the Little League Seven, have gone into the majors. Played in the World Series. Little League World oh, Series. In the World Series. 
the Little League World Series. Yeah, that, right, and then right, they right. Moved, and they end up moving in, uh, making it into the NFL or the, the uh, MLB baseball. Yeah, we've actually had ten to go into the NFL. Are you serious? That played, we actually had six that, that's made it into the hockey. I mean, so it's a big venue for these boys. Uh, yeah, to move up. Okay. Monet Davis was the first girl to pitch and win and, the, and threw a shutout in the Little League World Series. Okay. And she was also named the uh, Female Athlete of the Year in, uh, what, 2014? I guess it was something like that. That's impressive. You know who else is in the Little League World Series that's kind of famous? Not me. How about Ron DeSantis? I did not know that either. I did not either. Then Austin Dillon, you you in the race car, truck races and stuff like that. Austin yep. Dillon was the uh, 2011 NASCAR truck championship, and he's had a couple of others and stuff like that. Pretty interesting how these kids, and to me, the message is, is how sports helps develop uh, mentality, attitude, uh, and all those kind of things. Teamwork. Yeah. But but it's, it's, uh, it's interesting when you go back and look at the history of all this kind of stuff. Of course, it the is. Little League World Series, the boys' Little League has been around since, what, 1947, something like that? Yeah, that's that's been around for a minute. Yeah. Uh, the U.S. has won uh, 38 times. Taiwan, 17, Japan, 11, uh, California, seven times, Georgia, three times, and Texas, only twice for the Boys Little League World Series. Hey, you can't it's win them all, can you? Yeah, but it's fun to watch. Um, 1952, Montreal, Canada. So a shout out to all of our Canadian folks up there and friends. They were the first team outside the U.S. to win a national championship. That is correct. We do enjoy yep. and are very thankful for our uh, Canadian, British, German, French, Swiss, wherever you guys are from, Australia. We're, we're thankful and happy that you guys are listening to us. Yes, we are. Yeah, and it's fun. I'm, I'm glad you got a chance to, to work this in. Uh, we could do this just a little bit while you're – out enjoying yourself. Are you having fun? Uh, yeah. Drinking way too much beer over here. You know, you can't yeah. go to Germany and not eat some schnitzel and drink some beers. So what's that? What's that big size beer that you showed me? What's that called? A Stein? Oh, I don't. I don't remember what the heck that thing was called, but uh, it was out of. I can't even remember the the name of the restaurant, which you know probably should tell you that I probably had too much beer that night. But I don't know. That thing was like this tall, full of beer. And uh, I think we went through two of them. <laughs> uh, two apiece or all, all together? All together. <laughs> the whole group went through probably two of them. Yeah. But it is, it's fun and it's making memories, right? That's it what is. Life's we've, been, be about. we've been renting these scooters and driving all over Kaiser Slaughter on the on the scooters, going out to the restaurants, drinking the beer, meeting the people. It's I I love it living over here in Europe. I really do. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a different mentality, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a much different mentality. Plus, yeah. when you get on the highway on the autobahn and that no restriction signs up there. You can, you can go 115, 120 miles an hour as fast as your car can go. You just shoom, get on down the road. <laughs> that reminds me of something I saw the other day. It was kind of funny. I was talking about in Texas, the temperature should be the speed limit on something like that at, at the highways or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be pretty dang good. <laughs> yeah, like 110 and 106 and stuff like that. Yeah, it should be a speed limit, not a temperature. Yeah. <laughs> So, so speaking of hot in Texas, where were you last week on my birthday? I don't know. Where was I? 
Was that I don't know. You've got to tell me. You were there. Was that Flores Country Store with Jason Bolin? Yes, it was. Jason Bolin and uh, Charlie Robinson. How was Charlie Robinson? Yeah, always good. Well, that was your first time seeing him. Yeah. I, what What mom think of him? She liked it. She, I think. You know, your mom's kind of coy. She does, she doesn't want to tell you too much of that. But she she has fun when we go out to these kind of things. And you you just kind of look at her. It's the non-verbs that's more important than what she says. You know, when she's when she's having. Did she drink any more whiskey? One or two. Then yeah. Then sometimes okay, one more. Right. <laughs> her limit's her limit's her limit's going to be three, but she'll say no. Okay, one more. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the fun part of watching going, because getting her out of this house sometimes is like pulling teeth. You got to put dynamite under her butt. Yeah. But it was hot, I'm going to tell you. Oh, man, I believe it. I believe it. You know, Florida, I love Florida. They ought to put some fans out on that porch <laughs> or somewhere oh, I know. And, get that, and get that air circulating. What kind I, of concerts you got? That, what's that? What what you got coming up when you get back? Besides catching up on my sleep from the the time zones, I don't think I have too many coming up in August. Let me take a look real quick. Um uh August, August, August. Uh Brenda and I have uh the Counting Crows. Okay. With Dashboard Confessional. They're gonna be at the Majestic. Um, the day before, two days before my sister's birthday is a band called Clutch. I'm going to go see at the Aztec. Um, there is a concert towards the end of the month on the 28th. I don't know if I'm going to go cause it's on a Sunday, you know, taking all the, that time off, but there is a band that I'm so looking forward to at the end of August. It, they're from Mongolia. It's the who H U Mongolian metal. They do that Mongolian throat singing. You guys, you've got to check them out, man. The Who, H U. Yeah, I got. You sent me that link. I haven't looked. I'm not, when I get off, I'm gonna look it up and check it out. You need to check them out, Dad. They're 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 very hip. They're very cool. Uh, a lot of people are really digging them. So what else are we gonna do when you get back, or shortly after my birthday? Uh, we're going to go to Shiner, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to Shiner. It's going to be hot. Things. Yeah, but we can go inside there. There's some, some restaurants and stuff like that. And it's, it's just, to me, it's about someplace that has history, you know? Right. Uh, I'm putting it on the calendar right now. All right. Three, That's, two, one. You should be getting an email right about now with the calendar invite. That's about what, two hour drive? I don't have two hour drive to Shawnee. Yeah, it's about a two hour drive, I think. Yeah. Yep, you just come in. Yep, we're going to Shiner, Texas. Hit taking the show on the road. Yep. Then this weather cools out. We need we need to plan a couple more trips. You know where I'd like to kind of like to go, up by uh, Houston and uh, see some of those places up there, like where the uh, some of the battles. You know the the uh, Civil War, not Civil War. Yeah, the the um, Texas battles was won, was fought up there. You know the one before the Al after the Alamo and stuff like that. We went to Goliad. Yeah, we've been to Goliad, but this one's uh. Oh, I can't think of that. Up by Houston. So, okay. Uh, that was that was after the Alamo, I think. So, but I I just like history. Speaking of history, I'm, I'm reading a book, and I'm gonna get you one by Joy Jones. You know who Joy Jones is? Nope, can't say as I do. I'm gonna take. Unbroken Bonds of Battle. I am just, that's the first book I've read since Vietnam that I just don't want to put it down. I want to keep reading. 
Uh, okay. It, it's, and it's not about him so much as it's about the people who's influenced his life and that's helped him get through the battles that's, that he's, the mental battles as well as the physical battles and stuff like that. And, and those people are telling their stories about how they overcome and stuff like that. Uh, when, and when you read it, it's, it's just, it makes you think about life just a little bit differently. It's, I'm going to get that book for you. And you want to talk about some strong bonds while we were, um, in Luxembourg, I can't remember. We we're using this app called Signal to communicate with each other because we were in like a group group setting or whatever. And uh, yesterday, at some point, somebody had uh, said something about bonjour in in the text message, and then somebody else said bonjour. So I recorded my voice and sent it to everybody, going bonjour. Well, today. <laughs> So today, everybody in the group text has made my voice, bonjour, part of their, um, uh, like, ringtone, if you will. So if I send a text, everybody's phone goes, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's fine. that, And that's kind of bonds that help you get through some dark times sometimes and uh, or some troubling times or whatever, you know. Uh, and that's one thing about the military. You know, the military creates strong bonds. Uh, Even our foreign military friends have that same kind of humor. Absolutely. 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 It's the camaraderie that you, that you have because you, you're all doing the same thing. You all, you all have the same feelings and stuff like that. And, uh, and when you're in there, it's not about country anymore. It's about you and your buddy next to you. It is. It, and, yeah. And Politics that's what makes falls it so, to the side. Yeah, that's what makes it so strong. Because now it's, it's about you and your buddy, the guy next to you, what you're doing for him and what he's doing for you. Yeah. Makes it, makes it worthwhile. Yeah, speaking of which, I just got a group message. Everybody, somebody was asking, is everybody going to eat dinner? <laughs> yeah, it's getting close to that time, right? Yeah. Um, so a few of my friends, when they got downstairs, you know, they shot me a text saying, hey, we're down in the lobby. We're going to get some pizza. Come on down. And I went down a little bit later, you know, and afterwards they ate their pizza and they went upstairs. So I went down the street and got me a a, a donor kebab from this Turkish place. And that thing was freaking huge, man. It like, dad, I'm, I'm not lying. It was about this big around, man. Thick, like that thick. And I, I hate to say it, but I ate almost the whole damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Oh, man, dad, I, I'm getting food here that I just can't get in the States. And the closest to German food that I have gotten is that German place I took you to in New Braunfels. Krauss. Yes. That's the closest as I've ever gotten to what you can get here. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to make a trip back up there one day, just me and you. Yep, and we're going to definitely go again to Worst Fest this year. Oh, yeah. Well, they got they got the building rebuilt now, right? That yeah, burned down? it's back open. <clears throat> Yep. So I'm sure probably a much larger venue this year than it was in the past because I'm sure that they, they probably enlarged that, that facility. They should yeah. have. And plus, coming out of COVID, people are uh, excited to get back out there and do things again. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah, rather than you know try to drag this shit out and get these awkward pauses, might as well start to wrap it up. We're coming up on 25 minutes. Yeah, about time you get down with your buddies and go get something to eat. And maybe get some beers. But, you know, yeah. no, nah, there's just no sense in, like, dragging it on while we try to come up with something to talk about, you know? Yeah. Well, that's why I made some notes. I'm excited about these uh, Little League World Series coming up, the girls and the boys. I wish... I wish the regionals were playing now, but they're not, you know. And uh, 
And you need to watch some women's week. soccer, Dad. Watch some women's soccer, World Cup. I am. and uh, Those girls get after it. it. I, I like watching the women play soccer much more than the men because the men just flop around like fish when you get near yes, them. Yes, they do. And that's why I like watching the, the girls' athletes. They get into it. I mean, they they talk a lot of trash. If, you know, when something happens, it's just – it, they make it exciting. And, and, you know, they do. They so. they play the game, in my opinion, the way the game is supposed to be played. Yep, absolutely. So, all right, well, have fun. Thank we'll you. We'll take care of the home front until you get back. Yep, I'll be coming home soon. Okay. Have fun. Right. Don't eat too much. <laughs> that that may be a problem. And drink and drink one for me. I I'll drink one or two. All right. Love you. Love you, Dad. See you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.